Hello, hello, hello! You're tuning into another episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's topic. Oh my, oh my. Von Miller states that Lamar Jackson does more and deserves more than Aaron Rodgers. Listen. You know Mark Andrews, as much as he's laughing and smiling in these interviews, he's probably tired of answering these questions regarding his teammate, Lamar Jackson. Because, once again, I keep trying to tell people, when the quarterback, for better or for worse, is the face of the team. They get all the accolades. They get all the, the, the adulation. They get all the love. As good as you are, especially with a very, very good quarterback, no matter how spe- special Travis Kelsey is, he's not Mahomes. No, ma- no matter how special Gronkowski was, he wasn't Brady. No good. No matter how good Jerry Rice was, he wasn't Joe Montana. So, I'm going to play a little snippet from this, right? And we're going to dissect. What Von Miller was saying to Mark Andrew, what Mark Andrew was saying to Von Miller. So, without further ado, let's get started. He does more than Aaron Rodgers. Oh my God, he does. He does everything. He throws. He he passes. He does. He does everything, man. And they got Aaron Rodgers is getting fifty million a year. But you're speeding facts, man. He's a like you said, like everything you said is true, man. He deserves it. Um, He deserves more, man. He's a He's, he's a he's a fierce competitor. Every time he steps on that field, he's the one, man. Yeah. He's he's the guy. Um, there's no one like him, you know. So he's a very special guy, and I, I know he's going to get paid. And um, I, I just hope that you know the deal gets done because I know the Ravens want to get the deal done. Yeah. I, and I, you know, I, I think that you know, you know, he wants to be a Raven as well. So hopefully, both parties can get together. Get you know, it is, uh, listen, listen. Let me be real with you. Of course, he wants the Ravens to get it done, right? The honeymoon of his best season of his career is done, right? Understand me and understand me well. Mark Andrews is a top three tight end in the NFL. I don't care what anybody says. He's number three, okay? I had him at number two. He's number three. Last year, everybody said, without Lamar, you still got your stats. Here's the thing, though. Once they let go of Hollywood Brown, that other safety blanket that could deter and take away some of the eyes that are now fully glued to a Mark Andrews is gone. Absolutely gone. And the only tight end, this is why I have Travis Kelsey so high, is because regardless, without Tyreek Hill, the man still put up his stats. They knew where the ball was coming, and they still couldn't stop it. It was absolutely painful, painfully obvious that there's levels to this regarding the tight end position, and Travis Kelsey's that guy. But Mark Andrews is looking at it like, look, man, I want to have a long, prosperous career. They already shipped out one of the good players on this team. Why would I want them to um, ship out the quarterback of this team that he makes the whole thing go? Two consecutive seasons, we saw the Ravens offense absolutely sputter without Lamar Jackson. The Ravens were averaging the second fewest points per game. Not defensively, offensively in the entire NFL when Lamar Jackson went down. That's not good. This is what I've been trying to tell so many Raven fans, right? When you hear so many of the detraction from a Lamar Jackson, right? Von Miller saying it straight up. He does more than Aaron Rodgers. He does do more. When you look at Lamar Jackson as a player, right? You want him to be efficiently great amongst the best in the league, okay? You also need him to be dynamic. That means if a big throw has to be made or a or a game ceiling, uh, clock eating, uh, uh, 
one yard, two yard scamper needs to get, he's the guy. On top of all of that, you expect this man to be able to rush for 900 to 1,200 yards every season. That's a problem. You're asking... So, I want everyone to... You know, let me rewind this real quick. Not this year, the year before. Lamar Jackson was on pace for 6,000 total yards. It's inhuman what he is capable of producing with little to no talent on the offensive side of the ball. And here's the here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Mark Andrews is speaking from a selfish standpoint. Humans are inherently selfish. We think of ourselves. We think of what we can do or who can we put around us to better ourselves almost 99% of the time. And most of the time, if the person is not actively uh, progressing you in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a manner that you want, giving you money, helping out your career, then you don't deal with that person. Mark Andrews has come to the understanding that if he wants to have an amazing um, record-breaking late-in career, he needs Lamar Jackson, i.e. the Ravens need Lamar Jackson. And it shouldn't even, at this point, this should be like, like uh, nothing new. But the reason why I'm bringing it up today is because do you see how every other player for every other team is bringing him up? We went from the Marlon Humphrey stuff, right? Where he was saying, no matter who I talk to, they all say, yo, y'all sign Lamar? Don't holler back at me until that's done. Players of the highest level, defensive players are saying, that boy Lamar is a problem. The only people that seem to not understand the true inherent value of a Lamar Demetrius Jackson is the Ravens front office and the Ravens flock. And for anybody on here saying, don't say that that's Raven fans, bro, please. You have Facebook, you have Reddit, you have Twitter, you have YouTube. I've heard Raven fans Die hard Raven fans screaming for Huntley to start, for Anthony Brown to start, for Lamar to be traded for picks. Lamar is just a running back. His he, he's unsustainable. He's injury prone. He can't throw. He has no deep ball accuracy. He's overrated. I mean, the list goes on. These are Raven fans that have been Raven fans for years, decades. I want to say this, and I want I want to make sure that this kind of rings true to where my point is going. A lot of people say "fake it till you make it," right? They tell you to do do what you can and whatever. The Ravens can't fake it no more. The answer is in the pudding. We know the answer to these problems. We've seen the last chapter of this book. Nothing goes in Baltimore without that man under center. And Mark Andrews has come to that understanding to say, look, no matter how good I think I am, the way how this team is, co is currently constructed, if I don't have Lamar out there who is willing to not only throw accurately, throw the deep ball good, but make plays consistently and force the defense to stay honest, we're not winning. 
I want to remind y'all this one quick thing. The Ravens, when Lamar Jackson went down, had the easiest schedule in the NFL. The easiest. By every metric. They had the easiest schedule um, ending the season. How many of those games did we struggle in? How many of those games did we even win? How many of those games came, I mean, absolute nail biters? How many of those games did we score over 20 points? This is the realization that Mark Andrews has come to. When you see players like Von, see Von Miller, Remember, he's already done everything you could do as a defensive player. He's, he's one of the greatest pass rushers of all time. Super Bowl MVP, defensive player of the year. Super Bowl champion, pro bowler, all pro, multiple years. And he was on pace to be on the all pro. He was on an all pro pace before he got hurt. Hey. In his advanced age. But when you get to that level, see, real, recognize real. Game, recognize game. And all those players of the highest ilk, the Bradys, the Von Millers, they all say, Aaron Rodgers, they all say the same thing. Lamar Jackson is one of the greatest players Bar none in the entire NFL. Steve Young even went so far to state this man, if the Ravens open it up, can be the greatest football player to ever live. He seen, he watched Joe Montana live. He himself is a Super Bowl winning quarterback. He's watched Brady. He's watched Peyton. This man, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, one of the most accurate quarterbacks of all time, stated he could be the greatest. He has the ability to be the greatest. So when you hear a Von Miller say, oh, he does more. Duh! The rave, listen, that's why I always say that this, 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 um, his deal, his contract for Lamar, in my perspective, is so much on principle because of the amount of weight the Ravens have forced him to carry. That's what they're asking. Like, players understand what good players are, they understand the dogs. Because, look, when you reach the NFL, you're an elite athlete. All of them are elite athletes. They're all four or five guys. You got 300-pound dudes running four or five, four or six times, benching 500 pounds. They're all elite athletes. But then there's the elite of the elite. And then on top of that, there's the elite of the elite of the elite. You know... There's some real good quarterbacks in this league. But then, outside of just being a Pro Bowl level quarterback, then you have the guys that are in the MVP conversation every year. Those are the Lamars. Those are the Patrick Mahomes. And now it's looking like that's going to be the Joe Burrows. So for people saying, you know, um, they're crazy, he'll never be better or anything else, everybody can see the truth except for the ignorance that some people have chosen to accept. And here's the thing, and I'm going to close on this. This all stems from people being wrong. You've already seen it with Jalen Hurts. You've seen the backtracking. You've seen how people have said, well, the, that, that anybody can win with that team, though. 
That doesn't count. For years, that help has been given to quarterbacks of not only a lighter complexion, but more of your standardized kind. Any quarterback that has been conceived or considered to be mobile, they refused to build an actual offense with them. They refused to actually give them weapons. They refused to cement the offensive line. And now we're seeing teams say, well, why, why are we doing that? Why don't we give this guy at least some of the weapons? Nobody in the media has ever said that it's unfair that Joe Burrow has three number ones. Three. And his team went back out and built his entire offensive line over the offseason. The same thing. And spent money. Put their money where their mouth is. Same thing. Right? The Chiefs did with Patrick Mahomes. All Philly did is say, you know what, Jalen? All right. Yeah. We're going to get you another weapon. We're going to get you another weapon. Yep, 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 yep. We're going to get you another weapon. And we're going to see what you're... We're going to really see if you're that guy. You want to give them all the opportunity in the world to prove that they're that guy. You've already spent the draft capital to get them. But I just wanted to leave that with you guys because it's never said. It's never said, oh, why does Justin Herbert, it's unfair he has all those weapons. Oh, why it's unfair that Joe Burrow has all those weapons. Oh. It's never brought up. Never. I would love to see what, ask yourself this question. What would the Baltimore Ravens look like with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins on the outside? Yo, no, 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 no. When any time people bring up that conversation with Jalen Hurts, Lamar Jackson, even though Lamar Jackson is better than Jalen Hurts, when they bring up that stuff, bring them up and say, why don't you have a problem with Joe Burrow having weapons? Why don't you have a problem with Justin Herbert having weapons? When Baker Mayfield was on the Browns, he had bad weapons. And see how they stumble through the answers. Because once again, and I'll keep saying this, steel sharpens steel, iron sharpens iron, and real recognize real. Von Miller understands this game. And when you, as a defender at the highest level, that has consistently been a pro bowl level, all pro, bro, a pro bowl level player, consistently his entire career, he's looking you in the camera and saying, look, Lamar Jackson's cut from a different cloth. He's of a different elk. And he deserves more than Aaron Rodgers. And to make it worse, the Ravens could have saved money by signing him early. And they, for all the people that said it was so smart to do, didn't do it. So now it's time to it's time to it's time to pay the piper. This notion that if they pay him, they can't build. You didn't build nothing when you had the money. You didn't build when you had the five years of him on a rookie deal. So no more excuses. Shout outs to Von Miller and shout outs to Mark Andrews. Because imagine how frustrating it is always talking about, they don't even really want to hear anything about him. Yo, how do you feel? How do you feel like you're loving up for tight end and stuff like that? They're like, hey, my mans, you like Lamar's favorite target. Yo, is he staying? Is he signing? Is he going? What's he thinking? What's he doing? What's his favorite color? And for uh, any athlete, uh, elite athlete, that has to be a hard pill to swallow. But that was another episode of the Wonderkin Show. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, you know I got to start playing this every time. Yo, I love that sound, bro. Hey, 
yo. But listen, thank you guys for um for listening up and listening and tuning in. You guys can be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and you know I appreciate that. Please do remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down in the comment section. Just try to be respectful to everybody's different views, and let's all get along. And if you would like to donate, to this platform to help it grow. At the bottom of the screen is a QR code for a cash app. In the description is the cash app, money sign, The Wonderkin Show. So once again, it's The Wonderkin Show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you guys knows my slogan. Peace. <laughs> and I'm out of here. Yeah.